Good morning, guys. Um, I wanted to pop on and show you a new and fun lesson you can do while you are home. And this lesson can be applied to any grade level. Honestly, if you're in an, an upper grade, just make your picture more and more detailed. When we go to the lower grades, we just make the steps a little bit more simple. Think of basic shapes and things that kids will know how to draw. So what are we gonna do? We are going to do a beautiful peacock. Now our peacock will be, the feathers will be colored back here. This is one of my students examples. We hadn't gotten to finish it yet. So I'm gonna show you what the finished product will be like. We were doing a study about India and it has been so much fun to just study the culture, the animals, things that are there. So if you're one of my students and you're currently learning about India, don't forget what we've learned and remind yourself of all the different things. We even learned some Hindi. Remember how to say one through four in Hindi? Ek, do, teen, char. And how to say, what is your name? Apka naam kia hai. Try it with me. Apka naam kia hai. And then to say your name, I would say Miranam Miss Bell Hay. Though you would say Miranam, your name, <clears throat> Hay. So don't forget all the things we've learned about this wonderful country. Today we're going to draw the peacock. I'm going to put my phone up here so you have a full version of the drawing and we will go step by step. Ooh, all right, here we go. Let's start our peacock. So. For our peacock, you can have many different supplies. You do not have to use what I'm doing. Everything can be modified. So the first step, if you're at home, guys, I would suggest you use a pencil just in case you mess up. And remember, we always draw lightly because if we draw dark, it's very hard to erase. But if we draw light, it's very easy, okay? So remember that. I'm going to be drawing with a Sharpie first because I want you guys to be able to see it and I'm not sure with the pencil if you're gonna be able to see it. So the first step, let me just double check. Yes. First step is going to be to make a C shape. If you can make a C, I want you to come a little above halfway. This is halfway in our paper. I want you to come a little above halfway, probably about in the middle. It doesn't have to be perfect and you're gonna make a C, okay? First step, so make your big C. It doesn't need to be teeny tiny. Our peacock is going to fill the whole page. Next, we are gonna come down. So on each side of our C, we're gonna come down to make the peacock's neck. So this is one, then we're gonna come down again. All right, so you have that. Now we're gonna come down and make the peacock's body. The peacock's body is going to go off the page. We're not drawing the feet, okay? So like this, you will go to the other side and I want you to curve out and down, okay? <clears throat> and curve out and down, all right? And my table has a little bump in it and it messed it up a little bit, but that's okay. All right, next, let's draw the eye of the peacock. So the eye of the peacock is gonna be very simple, guys. It's just gonna be a circle, another circle. And then if you wanna give your peacock some eyelashes, I'll leave that up to you. You do not have to, but I'm gonna give mine some. Next, let's do the beak. All the beak is is a sideways V. Sideways V, then come in the middle and draw a line. Done. All right, peacocks have some little tiny feathers on the top of their head, so we're gonna do those really quick. There are three little feathers, so they're gonna be straight lines. One, two, three. And on top of those straight lines, I want you to do circles. Okay, there you go. Next, I'll show you this picture again. We're gonna do the peacock's feathers. Now our peacock is a little abstract. It's not really super realistic and that's okay, but I'm gonna show you how to do the feathers. Peacocks have a big circle and a small circle 
in their feather. And some people say that when you look at a peacock, it looks like eyes, okay? And so this helps protect them in the wild because when their feathers flare out, then they see all these eyes looking at them. So think of that. So first thing, we're gonna do straight lines all the way around our peacock. So one, I'm gonna do, I'm going to do eight, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Guys, notice my lines go all the way to the edge, okay? Don't just draw a line and stop it because this is our all our peacock's feathers here. Now next, this is an important step. We're going to draw those eyes on our peacock feather. So on each line, you can do one, two, or three. Let me show you. In this one, she did two on some, she did three on some. On a very small line, like down here, I might do one, because that's all that's going to fit. This one, I might also do one. This one, I think I can fit two. We want to have separation in between. So you don't want them touching, okay? You want them to have separation. So let's keep going. This one is a long line, so I'm gonna do three, okay? Okay, so we have that. Next, we're gonna do our Vs. So in between the feathers, we have these Vs, and it really kind of makes the peacock feather look like a feather. So. In between all your circles, I want you to do Vs. Don't do too many. It will be too much. You just wanna do one, maybe even two in between. Okay. So, that is pretty much the lesson. So what we're gonna do, I wanna show you this picture. You're gonna color your peacock body. It can be, this is like a green blue, or you can do it just a really dark blue. Like I have this dark blue. That's kinda of looking. So I'm gonna do mine, this dark blue. And then the circles, you can do a light green and a dark green, or you can do them all just one green. Beak is orange, okay? Remember, orange. And then in between, you can color your feathers however you want. Peacock's feathers tend to be like a green, so if you want to do green, you can, but this is where you can get creative, and if you wanna do rainbows or you wanna do all purples or whatever, you can do that. Make your peacock unique, but don't forget when you color, guys, to color it nice and dark. Now, some of us, sometimes we wanna just get it done, right? We color like this, and I'm always telling my students, reminding them over and over again, don't rush, take your time. Art is not about rushing. So this is really dark. And how did I get that really dark? I colored back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, nice and dark. I know some of you guys are gonna do amazing at this and I cannot wait to see it. But I'm gonna cover my whole peacock. Don't color over the eye. You can color these little feathers up here blue if you want. And then this will be orange and that is it. I will post a picture at the end of what my peacock looks like, but I'm so excited to see what you will do. Okay guys, so I did my coloring. Obviously colored him blue, and then the greens. Um, my greens, I used markers. I used permanent markers. Now guys, if you're using watercolor and you plan to paint the inside, you must use permanent markers. Washable markers will turn they're washable, right? So when water hits it, it will turn into a mess. You don't want that. Use either, I use crayons in my body. You can use crayons on the whole picture. Whatever you have at home, let's utilize that. I happen to have, I bought some watercolors the other day. These are from Hobby Lobby and they are actually 50% off right now. And I like these a lot because they come with so many colors. So I thought I would just do a quick run through of painting it. So you could kind of see what's gonna happen and what we got going. I've decided to do purples and blues. That's just me. Um,
Guys, when you use watercolor, you can tell this one's kind of light. The more light you want it, the lighter you want it, the more water, okay? That's the, the main rule. If you're painting, now if you're not painting and you're coloring, that's totally fine. Um, but the lighter you want it, more water. Darker, then less water. All right, and I'm always gonna clean my brush. Okay, actually, I'm gonna clean my brush, but I'm gonna go, let me just do all the purple right now. So I'm gonna actually do it purple, blue, purple, or purple, green, purple. So I'm gonna go in between, since I have the purple on my brush, and do that. Um, a great way, instead of just feeling like you have to go one direction, I always swirl mine. I just, covers more, it's faster, and it blends a lot better instead of having like straight lines. So I'm just swirling mine, you know, like a tornado kind of. Um, I'll do that over here, hitting the wall. My brush is hitting the wall. So yeah, I mean, super fun. This will be beautiful. Honestly, if you're a parent and your child does this, I would totally pop over to the Dollar Tree or Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby has some really cheap frames. They are in the framing section and they're like on a shorter kind of stand um, and they're like two bucks. Um, they're really great to pop your child's artwork in this and it just looks so good, y'all. Um, and then hang it up. Hang it up. It will make your child so happy. Make an art wall, you know? That's what I would do. But hey, that's the art teacher speaking. All right, um, next I'm going to, let's see. Let's do like a green, possibly. We'll try it. We'll try it. I don't know how I feel about it. All right, so in between, I'm gonna do this green and still swirling it up. Go and go and be careful on your edges. You don't wanna start blending your purple and your green. Okay, but see how fast this is? Like I'm just swirling around and it'll, the swirls will dry really nice. So literally guys, you guys, now, if you're coloring or you're coloring with markers or whatever, you that color nice and dark, color in smooth lines. Check at the end, do you have white spaces that you need to come in and fix? If you do, you know, always double check. Sometimes I think we're really focused on getting to the end product and we don't double check our work and if you make a mistake please don't freak out because guess what a lot of great art was made by a mistake and you normally can try to be creative and fix it in some way all right all right let's see i'm gonna just make this a little bit darker i'm gonna double check where could i add some stuff From that beak. And then I'm just gonna leave it to dry. It will dry a little bit different than what it looks like right now as the water absorbs and the paint flattens out. Let's see. All right, and voila, that is the peacock, done. 32, an hour long project, and you got this.